Hey guys, in this video, I am going to explain you about OpenStack. OpenStack is a freely available open source software used to build the cloud infrastructure. Topics included in this session are Record skills to learn and build OpenStack cloud environment and what is OpenStack, history of OpenStack and components of OpenStack and role of each components explained in details and OpenStack architecture. These are the topics involved in this session. This is a continuation of our cloud computing and OpenStack tutorials. Links related to this session are mentioned in the description below. Refer those links that would be easier for you to understand this session much better. If you feel something I have missed or you wanted to know more about something else, please leave your comments and subscribe our YouTube channel for more updates. And you are watching LanAtticGuide.net tutorials. Record skills to become an OpenStack Cloud Admin, knowledge on system administration tasks and understanding the OpenStack components that make up the cloud and hardware used in data center and its purpose like storage, server, networking devices like switches, routers, those things and basic knowledge on virtualization technologies. If you have uh, knowledge on these areas would be an added advantage to become an OpenStack Cloud Admin. What is OpenStack? OpenStack is a free open source software available to build the cloud computing mostly deployed as an infrastructure as a service that is IAAS. It is a set of software tools for building and managing the cloud computing platforms for public and private clouds. The software platform consists of interrelated components that control hardware pools of processing, storage and networking resources throughout a data center. Users either manage it through a web-based dashboard, through command line tools or through a RESTful API. So we'll learn all this information in detail in the upcoming slides. Let's see history of OpenStack. OpenStack was created during the first month of 2010. Rackspace wanted to rewrite the infrastructure code running its cloud servers offering and considered open sourcing the existing cloud files code. Anso Labs, who contracting for NASA, had published beta code for Nova, a Python based cloud computing fabric control. So both efforts converged and formed the base for OpenStack. The first design of OpenStack submit was held in Austin TX on July 13 to 14, 2010, and the project was officially announced at OSCON in Portland on July 21, 2010. Release history of OpenStack. OpenStack releases the new versions for every six months with new developed components. Since 2010, they have released many number of releases from Aston to Okata, which was released recently on 22nd February 2017. If you see all these releases names start with in the alphabetical order. The recently released version is Wakata on 22 February 2017. Now the main important thing that is components of OpenStack. OpenStack is a project consists of many interconnected components like dashboard, compute, networking, object storage, block storage, identity services, image services, telemetry, orchestration. These components are to fulfill infrastructure requirements like storage, server, networking, image servers, computing node for scalability and high availability. They have developed these components to fulfill the infrastructure requirements from a centralized managed portal. In the latest release of OpenStack has the following components. Nova, Glance, Swift, Horizon, Keystone, Neutron, Center. Like this, you have many number of components and each component has its own functionality to fulfill some infrastructure requirement. Let's discuss 
of each components in detail i could segregate these components in different level first we'll see the service related components service related components are horizon nova and neutron horizon the purpose of horizon is to provide the dashboard which means it is a web based management user interface for management like launching the instance managing the networking and setting access controls you could use this web based management user interface to manage your complete cloud environment the component we use for this is horizon and the next one is nova the purpose of the component nova is computing so a service that manages networks of virtual machines running on nodes providing virtual machines on demand so it is designed to scale horizontally on standard hardware downloading images to launch instances as required spanning scheduling and decommissioning of virtual machines on demand this is completely a computing same like virtualization computing this is the major component in openstack that is nova compute the next one is neutron the purpose of the neutron component is to have the networking infrastructure this is a service that provides connectivity between the interface of each openstack services so users can create their own networks control traffic and connect servers to other networks various networking technologies are supported in this neutron component now storage related components so we have a few components for storage the one is swift the purpose of swift component is object storage it's a service providing object storage which allows users to store and retrieve files swift architecture is distributed to allow for horizontal scaling and to provide redundancy as a failure proofing and data replication is managed by software allowing greater scalability and redundancy than dedicated hardware the next one is sinter sinter is a block storage where sinter manages storage volumes for virtual machines this is persistent block storage for the instance running in nova so sinter this is also a major component which manages storage volumes for virtual machines now the next one is shared services here we have a shared services components that is keystone and we use this keystone component for identity management so keystone is a centralized identity service that provides authentication and authorization for other services so all the components are connected with this keystone identity management so this keystone provides authentication and authorization for other services now the higher level services components that is heat glance silometer heat is used for orchestrations a service to orchestrate multiple composite com cloud applications using aws cloud formation template format through a both rest api and a cloud formation compatible query api the software integrates other core components of openstack into a one file template system the template allow creation of most openstack resource types such as instances floating apis volumes security groups users etc using a single file template as well as some more advanced functionality such as instance high availability instance auto scaling and nested stacks then the glance glance is a component used for image services so glance is a service that acts as a registry for virtual machine images allowing users to copy server images for immediate storage access these images can be used as a templates when setting up new instance then the next one is silometer silometer is a component used for metering so it can be used to monitor and meter the openstack cloud for billing purpose 
benchmarking, scalability and statistical purpose. For all these functions, we can use the component called Celometer. Now we'll discuss about OpenStack architecture. To design, deploy and configure OpenStack, administrators must understand the logical architecture. So now OpenStack architecture is now interconnecting all components like dashboard, compute, networking, object storage, block storage, identity services, image services, telemetry, orchestrations. If you interconnect all these OpenStack components, we will have a OpenStack architecture. You can install these components as a single node deployment or as a multi node deployment. So OpenStack consists of several independent parts and we named that as a OpenStack services. All services authenticate through a common identity services. I told you before, identity service that is Keystone is a shared services. So all the services authenticate through a common identity services that is Keystone. Individual services interact with each other through public APIs except where privileged administrator comments are necessary. This is how all the components are interconnected through public APIs. Internally, OpenStack services are composed of several processes. All services have at least one API process, which listens for API requests for incoming as well as outgoing. Pre-process them and process them on other parts of the services as required. With the exception of the identity services, the actual work is done by distinct processes. For communication between the process of one services, an AMQP message broker is used. A messaging services is used. A services state is stored in a database. A dedicated database for each components will be managed. So when deploying and configuring your OpenStack cloud, you can choose among several message brokers and database solutions such as RabbitMQ, MySQL, MariaDB and SQLite. So each component should have a database. Finally, user can access OpenStack via web-based user interface implemented by dashboard that is called Horizon. So this is what how the architecture is. And if you start beginning to deploy and practicing the OpenStack, you will easily understand each components. And I have explained you the general overview of the OpenStack. In the next videos, we will show you how to deploy these OpenStack to build the cloud environment as a single node deployment as well as as a multi node deployment. If you find these videos helpful, please do appreciate our efforts and hit like button and share with your friends about us. Stay connected with us on social networking sites. And thanks for watching this video of Lanetiguide.net tutorials.